family that prays together stays together. My name is Akampa Musime Victor, the seminarian of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Today we celebrate the fifth Sunday of Lent and our readings come from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 31 to 34, the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 5, verse 7 to 9, and then the gospel according to John, chapter 12, verse 20 to 33. The readings for the fifth Sunday of Lent offer a profound reflection on the themes of covenant and sacrifice, leading to a transformative love of God and the power of His communion with us. In Jeremiah, we encounter the promise of a new covenant, a covenant that is not written on stone or tablets, but inscribed in the hearts of God's people. This covenant is marked by an intimate personal relationship with God, a relationship that is going to bring about a forgiveness, an indwelling of the knowledge of God. So the passage from Hebrews invites us to contemplate the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, the high priest who offered prayers and supplication in loud cries and tears. This emotional image reveals the depth of Jesus' humanity and his willingness to embrace the suffering that is embedded in his mission. Through his obedience and sacrificial love, Jesus is going to become the source of eternal salvation for all who will follow him. The gospel for us today explores the theme of sacrifice as Jesus is speaking about his impending death. The metaphor of a grain of wheat falling to the ground, dying to bear much fruit, summarizes the paradox of what he has sacrificed for us. Death is going to lead us to a new life through this kind of sacrifice. So Jesus acknowledges the anguish he feels, but he emphasizes his submission to the Father's will a testament that is going to depict his unwavering commitment to the divine plan of salvation or the redemption of man. In contemplating these passages, we are invited to reflect on our own commitment, our own covenant with God. The new covenant foretold by Jeremiah calls us to a personal and transformative relationship with God. It is challenging us to allow God's laws to be written not only on stones of tablets, but more importantly, on the tablets of our hearts. This is going to involve a deeper relationship, an interior conversion, a surrendering of our own will to God's, and an openness to that transformative power of the divine grace that God has bestowed on each one of us. The theme of sacrifice, as seen in the letter to the Hebrews and the Gospel of John, prompts us to reflect on the nature of our own sacrifices in following Christ. So like Jesus, we may encounter moments of anguish, moments of uncertainty, and even suffering on our way. However, the readings assure us that through these challenges, we participate in Christ's redemptive sacrifice, allowing us to bear fruit and share in the promise of eternal life. As we approach the end of Lent, the readings are going to encourage us to deepen our commitment to God's covenant, embracing the challenges and sacrifices inherent in our discipleship. So through prayer and reflection and willingness to align our will to God's, we can enter more fully into the transformative journey of Lent and prepare our hearts for the journey of Easter leading to the resurrection. A world at prayer is a world at peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit.